Hey guys, Finn 21 h here, back today with another Prescott SFC Road to Glory. It's the second to last episode of the season for this career mode. Our team today is Fogarty Holding, Pout Kenny, Travis Hampson, Savage, Wiley Woodbin, Luke Nestor playing right mid, and then Joe Burns and Finn Hampson will lead the line today. As of course, we're playing against Manchester City, we're still in with a chance of winning the Premier League if they can come away with a win today against us. Of course, we're still on the hunt for Europe. Maybe eighth place could get European football. We'd have to see how everything else works out. But it's Finn Hampson getting the game on the way, right the way back to James Powell. Bit of a powerful kick. And there he is playing it wide and Luke Nisted able to pick it up. Playing the more advanced role today is Luke Nisted hoping to try and get involved a bit more going forward. And there he is there being blocked out there. But of course, Manchester City, they're still within a shout of winning the Premier League after their dull start to the season. But they're looking to try and get going now. And here is Leroy Sané down the left-hand side. Going up against Rob Holding, who's playing one of his last games in a Prescott jersey unless he's signed a, a deal here at the club. I don't think that'll happen for him, but we wish him the best at Arsenal. Here's Kevin De Bruyne now, the man we've got to watch out for. Finds Sterling, who's playing up front, plays it in behind for Bernardo Silva. Silva cuts it back for David Silva, and he puts it into the back of the net. 11 minutes gone, and David Silva and Manchester City take the lead. It's an important goal for the Manchester City midfielder. Simon Dealey not happy there with his defence at all. And there is a vital goal for Manchester City and David Silver in the chase to regain their title and go again and win a fourth, technically going off the series in a row. As David Silver here does brilliant. But here come Prescott, we're not giving up yet in our 4 4 2. Here's Finn Hampson, plays a good ball and finds Joe Burns. Here is Ben Woodburn. Comes inside, holds it up, blocked. Falls for Finn Hampson, and it forces Kaylor Navas into a big save, and it'll be a Prescott corner there. Finn Hampson fr frustrated with himself there, as you can see. As it's good build up play down that far side of the pitch, and Ben Woodburn with a good ball inside. Finn Hampson on his weak foot, straight at Kaylor Navas. But there was a bit of pace behind it, which means Prescott get a corner. And it's Lutnister to take. Puts it in high, looking for a header, it's going to be cleared. And it's going to be picked up by Sterling. He finds De Bruyne. Angelino plays a great ball to Raheem Sterling. He plays a crossfield ball on Bernardo Silva. Now in a race against James Powell. Leroy Sané in the middle three. Sané in with a chance and it's Fogarty with a huge save there. And he keeps Prescott 1-0 behind rather than 2-0. Here comes City again playing some good football. Sané. Sané tackled there. And Travis Hampson battles. Sané wins it back though. Rodri steps up. Tackled by James Savage. Still falls for De Bruyne. He finds Sané and he's put it just wide of Paul Fogarty's near hand post there but it looks like Fogarty had it covered Kenny wins it high up the pitch plays a great ball and Joe Burns is the right side of John Stones Burns squares it for Finn Hampson they did it against City in the first game against them and Joe Burns and Finn Hampson link up again for that same goal as Prescott draw themselves level and as results stay the same they will still be a point three points ahead of Leicester City what a big point this could be for Prescott against Manchester City. And Finn Hampson there, lapsing up the applause there as it is. Prescott 1, Manchester City 1. Very well played by Ellis Kenny. Plays a brilliant ball. Joe Burns, smart and clever. He knows he needs goals, but he's able to get Prescott right back in it. And Finn Hampson is the man to tap it home into the empty net. Past Kalor Navas again. Here we come now. Walker. That's Bernardo Silva. He gives it to David Silva. Here is Walker. Not the best bit of passing there from City, but Walker still going, finds De Bruyne. He can line up a shot and it's comfortably saved by Paul Fogarty. And Paul now will take his time. He's going to come out here now and find Travis Hampson. Gets the ball out of his feet, plays it to Luke Nisted. He finds Finn Hampson. Great ball, first time to Joe Burns. And Joe Burns is in behind. Can he get the goal? It's straight at Kaylor Navas into another Prescott corner. The 45 minutes is upon us in this one. Wiley, deflected. Finn Hampson wins the header, back from Joe Burns, it's past Finn Hampson and the Bruyne of Manchester City look like they're going to come in here at half-time, just about coming away with a 1-1. City dominating the first 25, but Prescott, after they got the goal, have all of a sudden shot into life and are showing they are just as good as City in this game. There's the half-time stats if you want to see. City with all the possession pretty much, but Prescott, three shots, free on target. And there is going to be a half-time change here. Luke Nisted is going to be replaced by Daniel Clark on that right-hand side. So it's Sterling and City got the second half on the way. It's back with Eric Laporte. He finds Kevin De Bruyne. He's the man we've got to keep an eye on in this 4-4-2. As we do switch, in fact, to a three at the back, allowing Ellis Kenny 
I know it's a four at the back still, sorry. But it's a ball in behind and David Silva couldn't get enough on it and Paul Fogarty comes and claims. De Bruyne plays it short, David Silva puts it in. Rob Holding clears, only as far as Angelino gets himself down, lines up the shot, blocked by Kenny. Rodri, Kenny again now trying to put a tackle in there and the referee's given a free kick and Rodri will take his time for Manchester City. And Ben Woodburn is to be replaced by Adam Rusk, meaning Prescott are looking probably at a five at the back meaning it will be Pout, Holding and Adam Rusk now. Kenny and Travis Hampton will be wing-backs. So De Bruyne steps up into the wall, though. Only as far as Rodri, though. City looking to keep the pressure on, but can't. Here's James Savage now, 89th minute. Still Prescott leading by a goal. It's inside for James Pout. Pout playing in the midfield position now as they switch back to a 4-2-3-1. Wiley can't play a good pass. Cut out. Sterling now has it for City. One last chance maybe for Bernardo Silva in Manchester City. He's fouled by Rob Holding there. Big tackle there by the centre half. And it looks like the referee wants to be having words here with Rob Holding about that tackle. As the game is pretty much done, the referee not happy with that. But he's not going to be booking Rob Holding with that bad tackle. As you see here now, how bad it was. Bernardo Silva, very late from Rob Holding. At least they've given a yellow card there. City play it short to John Stones. And there you go, the referee blows his whistle, it's full time. Prescott come away with a point at home against Manchester City. How does that affect Manchester City's chances of still retaining the Premier League? Meanwhile, Prescott still sitting comfortably, well not comfortably, in eighth place as you see here now. Three points ahead of Leicester, six behind Manchester United. Is there a chance maybe we can catch them as we do travel to Bournemouth now? There's the team, Fogarty, Rusk, Pout, Kenny, Nisted, Savage, Wiley, Woodburn, Finn Hampson, Daniel Clark gets his start and Toby Hill returns to the starting lineup to play at front for Prescott today. Big game here at the Vitality Stadium. Bournemouth still challenging at the bottom. They could be relegated if things don't go their way in the next few games, depending on other results. If Bournemouth lose and I think it's a team, I think it's the team below them is Norwich. If they lose, Norwich will be down and Bournemouth will be safe in the Premier League for another year. But it is them to get it underway and they're going to play it around at the back, it seems. As Captain Nathan Ake looks to lead the charge from the back. Here is Rico. Stepping up. Pressure high from Savage, but he does give away a free kick. It's inside for Ryan Fraser. Fraser looks to try and take on Woodburn. Going to put a ball in, looking for Smith. Ellis Kenny heads it down comfortably, and Paul Fogarty collects. Here come Bournemouth again. Wilson up against Adam Rusk. Drops it back for Ryan Fraser. He looks to try and play in. Callum Wilson in behind. Ellis Kenny chasing over. And once again, Ellis Kenny. He's been terrific all season. He's probably my player of the season is Ellis Kenny. He's been brilliant. Here is James Pout stepping up. Because it's a savage. You'll find Finn Hampson now coming in deep to receive the pass. Plays a nice one-two of Wiley. Finds Ben Woodburn. Ben Woodburn skips around a few. Ben Woodburn with the chance to score. And he's blazed it well wide of the post there. Paul from Ben Woodburn. Ten minutes in. And Prescott had a huge chance. Savage. Plays a great pass and finds Ben Woodburn. Here's Toby Hill, Ake with the tackle. Woodburn receives the ball again. Plays it to Daniel Clark. He's behind him though as Rico looks like he's going to get rid of that. It's going to be a throw in for Prescott. So there comes a corner. It's going to be Finn Hampson to take it. 25 minutes gone. It's still nil-nil. It's put in and it's near, near post and it's Daniel Clark heading over the bar there. Huge chance gone. Here we are now and it's Ellis Kenny picking it up on this left-hand side from a poor clearance. He finds Wiley, it's forward for Hill, intercepted and Harry Wilson and Bournemouth have the ball back. Poor clearance again and it's given to Finn Hampson. No pressure on Wilson, but Hampson lays it back for Wiley. Savage now, looking for Clark, finds Toby Hill. He, Clark was onside and Toby Hill's found the back of the net. What a finish from our goal poacher. Toby Hill gets the opening goal of the game, four minutes before half time. And Prescott lead, thanks to Toby Hill. What a goal. The away fans can't believe that that's just gone in. What a finish from Toby Hill. Can't get much better than that. And Prescott lead by a goal to nil. It's a great build-up play. Savage now with a great pass. Finding Clark, who was played on side by Metham. And Toby Hill, what a finish. Can't get much better than that, than the striker of Prescott. I think that's his 16th goal of the season as well for Toby Hill. He's doing pretty well. Here is Harry Wilson now for Bournemouth, looking to try and strike back before half-time. Relegation still a huge threat for them. It's inside for Ryan Fraser. Big save from Fogarty and Nisted will carry it now and play it long, looking for Finn Hampson. But the referee blows his whistle for half-time. It's Prescott and Toby Hill 
who have the only goal of the game so far. There's James Powell look, getting his chest out, looking big and a bit feeling confident with the way this game is going for Prescott. There's the halftime stats. Been a pretty even game so far. So Toby Hill get the second half on the way. Ryan Fraser is replaced by Dan Juma. And Pout looking for that long ball, looking for Daniel Clark. It's not going to find him as Rico intervenes, but it's picked up by Ben Woodburn. Gets the ball out of his feet. Finds Toby Hill. What a pass. What a ball. Poor touch from Hill. Gets it wide for Nisted though. Nisted struggling to get the ball into the box and it's picked up by Lewin. Here we are now with Bournemouth. It's intercepted and Ellis Kenny's there again. Great pass inside for Ben Woodburn. Here is Woodburn. Gives it to Savage. Gets around Rico. James Savage. It's tipped just wide of the post. And it'll be a corner for Prescott. Huge chance for the captain there to get himself on the score sheet today. Great play, uh, play between Woodburn and Savage. As he gets around Rico. Puts it across and it's an important fingertip save from the goalkeeper of Bournemouth. Here we come again now. It's with Woodburn. Intercepted in Lima. Intercepted again by Nisted. Prescott looking to try and just take a foothold on the game now. Here is Savage. Woodburn looks a bit tired on, on and out of his feet. Here's Finn Hampton turns. Comes back for James Savage and it looks like the referee has awarded a free kick there. And of course, no free kick takers on the field. Poor to not have anyone on. No Jack Mills or Luke, Luke Nisted to take this free kick, really. But Jack Mills has just been subbed on, in fact, by Simon Deal. And he looks to step up to take it straight into the wall. And Nisted now has it on the far hand side. He was on, sorry. Looking for Gore. Heads it down. Finn Hampson forces a save from Lewin. And that will end that attack for Prescott. Oh, no. Jack Mills has won it back. He's putting a big shift in, coming off the bench. He's not featured in the last game against City, and he's come on now, and he's looking to do some damage. Here he is with another set piece. 91 minutes. It's put in. Ake clears, and it's Callum Wilson. Right now, Bournemouth will be looking to see what the score is. There's the referee blowing the full-time whistle. Prescott win by a goal to nil, and good news for Bournemouth. Norwich have been beaten, meaning Bournemouth are safe in the Premier League for another season in the career mode. Of course, in real life, that's not the case. But they'll be happy with that, Will Bournemouth. And they'll look to try and build on from this year and try and make sure they're not in the same situation as the current season is. We get a 1-0 win. That's a huge result for us. As you can see, Leicester also won't keep three points behind us. Manchester United lost, meaning the gap is three points between us and them. But anyway, guys, I've been Finch H. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Prescott Road to Glory. Sammy Dilley offered the job at Leicester, by the way, and I'll see you in the next episode.